this is a little bit the content of my presentation. I will be talking indeed, as uh, Andy uh, told you, uh, about decorating containers, any containers in plastic, basically. What are the market needs? What are the processes available? And a business opportunity for heat transfer uh, in, t in combination with uh, digital print. Sales, sales, sales. That's what it is all about. And basically, okay, what is the product that this lady will pick out of the shelf? That is the, that is the crucial question for brand owners, product managers. In order to make that product as attractive as, pro as uh, possible, we have to impress the customer. And there's different ways of doing it, but these are the factors that are really crucial. You can read them here. Uh, basically, it's the design, the way it looks on one hand, and also the information has to be astute and has to, be sta has to stand out and has to be up to date so the brand owners, they expect that the artwork, the design, and the graphics are printed with high quality print, of course. The information um, on the product, the local information, local, e maybe even variations um, because of local events and so on, needs to be up to date. So time to market and quick turn turnaround is becoming more and more important. So, uh, and next to that, the, shorter, the runs are becoming shorter and shorter. So, if we can find a process that can cope with that, that would be the ideal world. So, a flexible decorating process is also what they really would like to have. What are the processes available today? First of all, wet glue. It's in decline um, since the 70s. Um, typical example here, the beer bottle of uh, one of my favorite beers. Secondly, we have the self-adhesive label. Um, it's still growing ever since the 70s at uh, an average rate of about uh, 6% globally. Here you see the example of a shampoo bottle with on top of that and self-adhesive self label. Wraparound is uh, relatively new, uh, specifically used for... Uh, for the beverage industry, you see here the Lipton iced tea, uh, Coca-Cola is using it. Uh, it's really in a growth mood, as is the shrink sleeve application that you can see here. In mold, different kind of process, of course, uh, for this uh, uh, box of ice cream, also in, uh, in growth. And then direct print is in decline for heat transfer, we see a bright future, um, as I will explain in uh, the remainders of my uh, presentation. Heat transfer, heat, tr heat transfer in combination with uh, digital print. This is, this is how the process works. You start with a roll of a release liner, in this case uh, from Mondi, or what we are printing now from Bo Marco. We are printing from a roll to a roll. At the moment, we are printing it to, uh, to just to, to stack. But if you really want to do it, you print to, uh, to a roll. Next step is that you apply this roll, this print, onto the, uh, the product. In this case, a pail or bucket. And of course, if you transfer it, the mirrored image becomes the right image. What are the strengths of this process? First of all, quality is very good. We print with a 1200 dpi image resolution and a 3 uh, bit, uh, um, bit depth, 3 dot bit depth, and it's absolutely much better than the direct printing quality uh, that is in use uh, today. Um, of course, it is higher flexible, this process, because it is in combination, of course, with digital print. Um, that uh, is, uh, is top for short runs and medium runs. Um, for the application, we work together with um, a company from Italy called MOS. It, the device looks like this for pails. Um, and you will see a movie now where the process, the complete process, is being demonstrated. 
you see here the uh, the Zycon press printing onto the substrate in this case from uh, Mondi. The substrate is uh, being uh, rewound onto a rewinder, uh, just an ordinary, ordinary rewinder. And here you see the pails uh, being taken out of uh, uh, storage, pails that are not printed yet. First step is that our the pails are being prepared with a heat treatment that you see here, the blue light. So you start with heating up the pail a little bit and then the next step is uh, transferring the, you see that happening here, the print on to the pail. See this is the roll that was printed on the Zycon and here is the actual transfer process. So we use heat and temperature um, uh, heat and pressure to transfer that image. So I discussed the pails. I also mentioned the tubes. Again, you can see that live happening at our booth in Hall 9. Another application is pens and then, for instance, uh, glasses. Now, I must say that the processes differ a little bit from, um, from container to container. So it depends on the, uh, on the substrate. If, if this is a, a high-density uh, um, high polyethylene and that is a polypropylene, um, there are differences in the process. Okay, if we, if we compare now the different processes that are available, what is the perceived value of the decoration if you look at the different, uh, at the different process available? You see from the top, that's the one in mold and print are the, um, the processes that are perceived highest in value in the market. Wet glue is the lowest and all of, of the processes have their own um, um, advantage and disadvantage. If you look at what are the, uh, the, 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 the characteristics of the different processes, you see that in terms of quality in mold, wraparound and self-adhesive label are the top. Uh, shortly followed by heat transfer. If you look at the flexibility of the process, then of course, especially for in-mold and direct print, these are very inflexible processes as, a, as compared to heat transfer self-adhesive labels. That makes these um, especially suited for short and medium runs. So if you look at this table, we definitely see a business opportunity in this area for heat transfer because it's not only the most flexible process, it, is al it also has a very high quality and uh, it, it has the, the, the characteristic that the print is actually um, the, uh, <coughs> the same as on the, on, on the product. I already mentioned Jockey who is doing it with three Zycon presses in Germany and also at a location in, uh, in, in, in Poland. Recently we announced at our press conference that also in Brazil, Bomix has a line doing this um, and Bomix is the biggest pail manufacturer in South America. So that was pronounced at our press conference. So. I just wanted to explain to you the process of heat transfer in combination with digital print. I think there's a, uh, certainly business opportunities in the future to decorate products. Again, visit uh, our whole or booth in Hall 9 to see the, uh, the actual transfer process being live demonstrated. Thanks for your attention and should there be questions, I'll be happy to try and answer them. Thank you.